Someone in Nick Diaz's corner really needs to tell this man, yo, it's time to hang it up, fam. Like, I know you missed the prime of your career, and that's unfortunate, bro. But life's life. And you old and fat now, homie. I don't know how he went through his fight with Robbie Lawler. Looked like my old fat uncle who just left his AA meeting. And decides I could do this again. Like, bro, straight up, quit that match. And it's Robbie Lawler, who's, who's another old dude. I mean... Given Robbie Lawler's a dog, but like, bro, he's old and you're old. Like, what do you think is gonna happen when you go fight a young guy? I mean, look at this. Bro just straight up sat down and was like, I can't do it no more. And I'm a big fan of Nick, uh, Nick and Nate Diaz. I like them a lot. But you can't just quit and be fat and old and decide to do this again, bro. And Vicente Luque is like not nothing special, you know what I mean? He's a shell of who he used to be. But if he's anywhere remotely close to who he used to be, he wins this fight and he wins it by murder. And what I'm confused about is Nick Diaz is, I don't think he needs to fight. Like he's not broke. He's got his jiu-jitsu gym he's running in Stockton. He also has a CBD business with his brother Nate. Like, the bro has stuff going on. So I'm just confused on why. Like, why are you doing this? And somebody needs to tell him, I think you should just hang it up, man. You went out there and you got molly -whopped. And you just quit. And you had a gut, fam. I don't know, bro. I don't know why he's doing this. If he takes some heavy shots, for what, bro? I don't think he needs the money. Is he just trying to fight just to fight? Like, what's the point? And I don't even see Nate Diaz trying to do this no more. Besides the boxing fight that he just had with um, uh, Masvidal, which he won. And I'm sure he won a good bag. Like, if it was something like that, where there's probably a massive bag, of course. You know, it's like, whatever. But, bro, you're just going to fight just to fight. I don't understand it. What do you guys think, man? I know Nate Diaz is loved. He's a legend. So is uh, his brother Nate. And people probably want to see him fight. But is it smart? No. And Vicente Luque, he's got that dog in him. He's been losing. He's been trending down. But he's definitely a way more fresh fighter than Nate Diaz. And like I said, he's just going to run through them, and it's going to be ugly. It is going to be very ugly if he's anywhere remotely close to who he used to be. But I just can't get over Like, this fight was... I don't know if I've ever seen a fight besides Gilbert Burns' brother. What's his name? Uh, whatever his name is. I don't know. He's a bum anyway. But that dude just straight up quits. Besides him... I've never seen a fighter like Nick Diaz, like, basically just sit down and be like, you know what, bro? I don't want to do this no more. Like, you don't see that in the UFC. These people are dogs, and they're trying to get to the top. So, even if he wins this fight, I, I hope that he calls it. Win or lose, man. If he lose, he for sure. I would be surprised if he wants to keep fighting after he loses this, if the UFC isn't just like, yo, you're done, bro. Like, we can't be doing this no more. I did a video on him. It's insane. The man got kicked out for like five years for smoking weed. No performance enhancing drugs, none of that. Just weed. And the dude got robbed of his whole prime. It's a really sad story, but at the end of the day, he's got stuff going on. He's got money coming in. Like, life's life. Life ain't fair, you know what I mean? So, you just gotta call it, my man. But... I don't know. What do you guys think, man? Comment down below. Should he fight? Are you going to be tuning in? I know I'm going to be betting heavy on Vicente Luque. But I don't know. Yeah, like I said, comment down below. What do you guys think? And you think he has a chance? I'm curious. Does anybody actually think that he has a chance at winning this fight? Like any chance at all? Because I don't see any way he wins this. Let's be real. I don't see one possible outcome unless he just gets I don't know he's not knocking him out if he got some type of sub 
Maybe, but I just don't see that happening. Not a chance. Not a chance. But, yeah, I think the UFC needs to stop putting together these BS fights, man. Like, they just need to start cutting people. Tony Ferguson, sorry, bro. Like, you could go fight in some other league. But the UFC ain't having you no more. That's just, I just think that that's the way it should be. Like the UFC is too big of a promotion. It's the top MMA company in the world, and you can't be having these old timers who obviously should not be in there fighting other UFC fighters. You can't just keep giving them fights just because they're old, unless they're like a John Jones, who you know is one of the goats or could be whatever. If you're on that status, sure, do your thing. But Tony Ferguson isn't in the GOAT debate. I don't even... I mean, yeah, I guess you could say he's a legend in the sport, but... I don't know. I think unless you're in the GOAT debate, you can't be fighting when, obviously, it's not smart. You just got to hang it up. So, that's my opinion. What do you guys think? But, anyways... I'll be betting heavy on Vicente. And I'm out, man. Hit that sub button.